the story of the of the Santa is a little bit um, strange one. It uh, it was in 1994 when the Sheikh Hamdan, His Highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Rashid al Maktoum, came to officially open the the, the the Islamic school over there. The main purpose, main objectives of that center was, and still is, uh, to serve the Muslim community in general, uh, to provide them with the service they need to practice their, their religion. Secondly, to clear the misconception of Islam and to make sure that the message of Islam arriving there and they receive the right message of, of Islam. And also uh, the, to help in connecting the Muslim community into the wider society, uh, the Irish society. That, is, that was, in general, the, the main objective of the center. The contributions made by the center towards other centers in Europe has been really uh, successful in promoting the uh, notable Islam in the West to be part of the societies there in making certain uh, projects, activities, uh, benefiting a big slice of the society, not always Muslims, but any other uh, uh, population also from the other sects, other religions, other uh, areas in the world, so as to benefit those poor people. And that's the message which our founder and patron, uh, Sheikh Hamdan bin Rashid Al Maktoum, uh, has given to the centers really in the world as per Al Maktoum Foundation's authority. المركز الإسلامي يعتبر معلم حضاري في هذه البلاد الطيبة أيرلندا بلد أوروبي صحيح لكنه يختلف عن بقية البلاد الأوروبية الشعب الأيرلندي شعب عظيم شعب لا يعرف العنصرية شعب يحترم الثقافات ويؤمن بتعدد الثقافات ولذلك نحن وجودنا في هذا المكان أو في هذا البلد يعني الحقيقة نعتبر أنفسنا جزء من هذا المجتمع لم نشعر يوما ما بغربة ولم نشعر يوما ما أننا خارج هذا المجتمع أو أن العلاقة التي بيننا وبين المجتمع هي علاقة غير طبيعية promoting the image of uh, Islam and bringing all the uh, for, uh, all the high dignitaries here. We, we have uh, President Mary Rob Robinson, which opened uh, Muslim National School. So since that time, uh, my main role is to uh, to have the external relations. I work in a capacity as a as a PR coordinator for the center, uh, where my role is to promote the image of the center and to have to maintain the position of the center of uh, Islamic Culture Center as the main representative bodies. May I then take this opportunity yet again to commend the Islamic Culture Center for their continued work and for their strong commitment to the, to, to the future of the Muslim community in Ireland and its integration. I have no doubt that Neighborhood Week 2012 will be a huge success. Malam Gamori and Sanatar Karanesh, I warmly congratulate all those involved in organizing the events of this week. Karimina Mahaki, and peace and prosperity to you all and to all of yours. Thank you very much.
The Islamic Cultural Center of Ireland uh, consists of uh, a number of departments. And uh, in addition to the CEO, uh, Imam's office and the, uh, and the, and the uh, administration and finance office, we have the community welfare uh, office, we have the adult education department, the youth department, uh, more importantly, the, uh, the Quranic school uh, that is a supplementary school catering for 850 children at the moment. Our involvement with the government is, as I said, it's not, not artificial one. We are really heavily involved with an active involvement. We are invited to every single uh, 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 program on the national level or sometimes even local levels. And we are asked always to give, to talk or to be involved in it. of Community Welfare actually runs many, many programs, not only for the community, as in the Muslim community, but also for the wider Irish public. Uh, examples of the programs that we would run would be the annual conference for women, whether it be about current issue or spiritual issues. Um, it depends on the year at the time. We run many seminars. The most recent one will be running um, the co this coming Saturday, actually, where it's a programme for women on entrepreneurship to encourage them, them to develop and use their skills. We have many workshops throughout the year, whether they're religious or with service providers in Ireland, for example, the health service, the security services, and many, many others. And this is to benefit the community again. We have Multicultural Day, which is a long-standing running programme at the centre. This is an, an international event um, celebrating International Week Against Racism. We mainly focus on the second generation who do not use Arabic through their Irish educational system here. So we teach them grammar and we teach them comprehension. The whole idea is to help them to be native speakers of Arabic. We like to be able to speak and to understand when I hear somebody talking in Arabic. I am very thankful and appreciative of the Western government's uh, welcome and uh, approval of the establishment of the uh, Islamic centers in their countries simply because uh, these centers uh, do a certain uh, benefit to the public, regardless of their sect or nationality or like language or religion. This is what we do, actually. So I'm very, very happy to state that uh, Countries in Europe have supported the establishment of the Islamic centers as a mean for cordial relationships between their countries and the Islamic world. Oh, 
إلا ما أنت مذكر لست عليهم بمفكر إلا من تولى وكبر فيعجبه الله العذاب الأكبر إن إلينا أيامهم ثم إن علينا حسابهم كانت بداية هذه المدرسة في عبارة على حلقة أو كتاب في المسجد من خمسة عشر طالب وطالبة تطورت المدرسة وكثرت الأعداد فشكلت إدارة المركز الثقافي الإسلامي دبلن الآي سي سي لجنة متخصصة للإشراف على هذه المدرسة لجنة علمية تربوية كانت بداية المدرسة بمعنى الأكاديمية عندما وضع منهج متكامل المدرسة يشمل مستويات المدرسة التعليمية كذلك اللوائح المختلفة اللوائح التنظيمية الإشرافية في المدرسة وبدأت الحمد لله رب العالمين الأعداد تتطور وتتزايد طهارة الملبس وطهارة المكان وطهارة الجسد صح ولا لا؟ صح Your body should be clean Your clothes and the place Second What we should do before we read Quran الاستعادة What is الاستعادة? What you say? Okay. What's, where is the proof with the Quran that you have to, so, to say an uh, isti'ala? Which ayah show us that you have to say isti'ala? Fasta'id billahi min ash-shaytan al-rajim. Iqra bismi rabbika al-lazhi khalaq khalaq al-insana min alaq Iqra wa rabbuka al-akram نحن أخذنا في المرة الماضية لما تحدثنا تحدثنا عن أنواع الحديث أنواع الحديث ولما تحدثنا عن أنواع الحديث قسمنا إلى قسمين القسم الأول من ناحية السنة والقسم الثاني من ناحية القبول والرد القسم الأول من ناحية السنة والقسم الثاني من ناحية القبول والرد قلنا من ناحية السنة هو ينقسم إلى ثلاثة أقسام متواتر ومشهور وأحد والذين قسموا الحديث إلى قسمين قسموه إلى متواتر وأحد والأحاد قسموه إلى كم؟ إلى ثلاثة أقسام وهناك المد لأكثر من مدين وقولوا نحسب بعدد الأصابع جيء نعطوا حق المد أشبع المد وأشبع حركات التنوين وأشبع السكون جروب 1 و جروب 2 يلا ريقو لا ريقو لا ريقو We have many different activities for the boys, uh, starting out with camps, going out, one day uh, tra uh, day out, we have in uh, uh, climbing up to the mountains, we going to uh, go karting and all these uh, interesting activities for them. Uh, we have we organizing barbecue days for them, going to the beach. Uh, heritage trips to the uh, important uh, uh, sites of uh, Irish history for them. We have a football team with a, with a football uh, uh, sport, with sporting activities which they really enjoy and organizing also uh, PlayStation competitions, football competitions.
I'm a mother of four children. Uh, we come to ICCI uh, uh, for the last five years, me and my children. Uh, it's a very good center and it uh, actually uh, means a lot to me and my family and to my family. It provides a lot of, uh, of facilities and a lot of service uh, to me and uh, to my family as a Muslim family living in a foreign country like Ireland. Um, usually for um, English school, I usually wake up at 7, um, go to school and we finish at around 3.20. Um, I do Nepal and we have Nepal training on Wednesdays um, and on Fridays we have uh, matches. Which is something different because it's a weekend school and us Arabs of course in English schools they don't provide Arabic so it's good that we learn Quran and Arabic and how to read Quran and um, what we have is um, each day it, it's divided into two of learning Arabic and then Quran which morning in Quran and then day after during the day we have uh, Arabic of course um, and it's something that some people say is stress and some people say it's boring but it's something us all of us enjoy and it's a great privilege to be able to go to Arabic school and English school in my opinion usually the Quran the teachers give you the amount that they know you can do but they won't give you too much because they know people like older people in secondary school, they don't have time for a lot of Quran. Uh, my fr these are my, my friends in Quranic school. They the, they're the ones usually that make me want to come to Quranic school. Like, I wouldn't really enjoy it if there wasn't as many friends here. <laughs> They benefit a lot from the program because uh, every weekend they come in together uh, and this is, uh, this is bounding their friendship, their brotherhood and then going out for the camps, going out for the trips together uh, this, uh, this really uh, works very well on them, seeing the nature, seeing the beauty uh, of, of, the, of the creation of, of Allah. Uh, this also is, uh, is giving them a, a good uh, appreciation, uh, uh, exploring the country uh, all over Ireland. They've seen many places, they've been to many places, uh, and this is, uh, this is really benefiting them uh, a lot having sports activities all the time. We try to provide for them alternative uh, and keep them busy with uh, sport, recreational activities. Uh, at the same time, everything is uh, the, the Islamic uh, and uh, um, our uh, uh, belief is being tailored into all the activities. Uh, I wake up in the morning at about eight and a half to eight. We run over to the camps, eat our breakfast of course. Then we go over to the school. School's really enjoyable in break time. It can, it's always really quick. And when we study, it's uh, we you study for a normal period of time, but it's fun I guess. And then I go to my English school that I go to is called the Saint Saint Ficus National School. This is very important establishment to have it here and we are very grateful to the people behind it, to the people who support the idea of having this uh, for our children, for our girls, for our, for our daughters to, 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 be, uh, to, be, uh, to, to, uh, to be able to learn and uh, be uh, able to learn Quran and Islamic traditions and Arabic language. So, so it's very important, I think, it's responsibility for almost every parent to take advantage and um, be able to I'm register their uh, kids in the school. So I, I'm very grateful, I'm very happy. Uh, I have ch noticed a very uh, uh, amount of improvement in the year by year, a year in, for their kids to, to, to learn more uh, about Quran. <laughs> For the last 20 years, since we started the center, but give it another five years since we thought about it. So it's almost uh, one quarter of a century. We are here to stay. 
We are here to do business. We are here to uh, to help others. I think we are part of the uh, Irish society. Our center uh, helps uh, solve some problems among families uh, in Ireland. Uh, our Imam, Sheikh Hussein uh, Halawa, has been very, very successful and a notable person in the society in Ireland to uh, make lots of things good, really, for the Irish uh, society. As I said, uh, we are here to stay. I'm not going to say 20 years. I would say another 100 years. And uh, as long as the message of our patron and the message of, of our religion continues to be the same. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, La ilaha illallah. أنا البس اللي أحب إن أنا أؤكد عليه الإسلام لا يوجد فيه إسلام وسطي وإسلام غير وسطي لا يوجد فيه إسلام معتدل وإسلام غير معتدل الإسلام هو الإسلام الله سبحانه وتعالى أنزله هو على قلب الحبيب محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وأنزل كتاب الإسلام هو الإسلام لكن إشكالية في فهم بعض العقول لهذا الدين لأن العقول لا شك تختلف فهمتها من إنسان لإنسان تختلف وبناء عليه فبيأتي هذا بقى فهما متطرفا فأنا أسمي فهم متطرف لهذا الدين أو هذا فهم متسيب لهذا الدين لكن الدين هو الدين الذي نحن نعرضه للناس نكون هذه بضاعتنا هذا ديننا أيها الناس لا أكثر ولا أقل نحن لا نأتي بشيء من من خارج الكتاب ولا السنة ولا فعل السلف الصالح رضوان الله عليهم إنما نحن قدوتنا كتاب الله عز وجل وسنة نبي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وفعل السلف الصالح من الصحابة والتابعين رضوان الله عليهم كيف تعاملوا مع غير المسلمين لما نقرأ الحقيقة في كتاب الله وفي سيرة النبي محمد صلى الله عليه وآله وصحبه وسلم والصحابة رضوان الله عليهم نجد العجب العجاب في التعامل مع مع غير المسلم حتى إن الناس كانوا حينما يرون هذه الصورة الطيبة المشرقة من التعامل كانوا يدخلون في الإسلام ويقولون إذا كان هذا هو دين الله عز وجل فنحن نؤمن به وأهلا وسهلا به ونحن نشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأن محمد رسول الله لكن الحقيقة الفهم السقيم وعدم العلم بدين الله سبحانه وتعالى هو اللي بيولد هذا التطرف أو هذا العنف فنحن ما نقدمه للناس هو قال الله قال رسوله صلى الله عليه وسلم وفعل الصحابة الكرام فإن مع العسر يسرا إن مع العسر يسرا وشوف ماذا يقول العلماء لا يغلب بحال من الأحوال العسر لا يغلب اليسر أبدا وجاء كلمة العسر معرف بألف لام أما اليسر جاء نكرة والنكرة تفيد العموم ها النكرة تفيد العموم الحمد لله يعني المكتبة تعتبر تقريبا من من أكبر المكتبات في غرب أوروبا فعندنا الحمد لله عشرة ألاف عنوان في المكتبة العربية في اللغة العربية من أكبر أمهات الكتب ومن أشهر أمهات الكتب وفي اللغة الإنجليزية عندنا أربعة ألاف عنوان برضو حرصنا أن يكون في عندنا تراجم للأمهات كثير من أمهات الكتب باللغة الإنجليزية فالمكتبة فيها حوالي أربعة عشر ألف عنوان عشرة ألاف باللغة العربية وأربعة ألاف باللغة الإنجليزية الدعم دعمان دعم مادي ودعم معنوي الدعم المادي 
هو يعني يقدمه سمو الشيخ حمدان بن راشد المكتوم جزاه الله خير هيئه المكتوم الحقيقه لا تالو جهدا ولا تقصر في ان تقدم الدعم المادي لهذا المركز ولكل انشطته التي نحن يعني نقوم بها هذا لا يبقى الدعم المعنوي هو بالنسبه لي لا يقل ابدا عن الدعم المادي وفضل الله سبحانه وتعالى نحن نجد الدعم المعنوي نجد اولا من انفسنا لاتكالنا على الله سبحانه وتعالى وان شاء الله ان شاء الله احسب اخواني العاملين معنا في المركز جميعا يعرفون مقصدهم ويعرفون نياتهم وهذا دعم كبير جدا للانطلاقه اخلاص العمل لوجه الله سبحانه وتعالى الفهم الصحيح لدين الله عز وجل هو الذي يجعلك تؤدي كل ما تؤدي وانت لا تنظر لا تنتظر رجاء من احد او شكور او شكرا من احد انما تنتظر الامر تنتظر الشكر والرجاء والاجر من الله سبحانه وتعالى. الامر الاخر من اخوانك واحبابك المسلمين الذين ياتون معك والذين يصلون معك والذين يؤازرونك، الامر الاخر من الشعب الايرلندي كما قلت في بدايه حديثي انه شعب يعني يحب تعدد الثقافات، شعب يعني زي ما يقولوا صديق للاخر يعني اذا مشيت في اي شارع في اي طريق في اي مؤسسه في اي حاجه تجده يبتسم لك ويرحب بك في معاملاته. انا لا يعني هذا انني اقول ان هذا الشعب معصوم لا انما انا اتكلم عن ما يميز هذا الشعب، الغالبيه التي رايناها في هذا الشعب الحقيقة على مدار ما بقينا تقريبا الآن عشرين سنة وزيادة بفضل الله سبحانه وتعالى يعني ما رأينا من هذا الشعب المضياف إلا كل خير وما رأينا منه إلا كل تعاون ونسأل الله سبحانه وتعالى يعني أن 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 يرزق هذا البلد الأمن والأمان والرشد والسلام. Jewelry. Um, I usually uh, like to buy it for myself, but uh, when my friend um, saw some of the jewelry that I'm bringing from Turkey, they encouraged me to bring it and sell it. I like these bazaars because the community like uh, find it a very good opportunity to, to, to find things that they wouldn't find in the normal stores uh, outside in Ireland. 
So I thought that this time I uh, will bring some jewelries. Uh, if I'm successful to, say, to uh, sell some of them, maybe I'll bring it and uh, maybe it's going to be an opportunity to start uh, my own business. tradition at the Islamic Cultural Centre of Ireland. I now invite um, Mr. Yahya Busir, one of the past pupils from the Quran School, to recite an excerpt from the Holy Quran. <laughs>
My last message to the people working in the center, remember that you represent Islam and represent a notable center. Remember that you are part of the society. Remember to do anything that the society requires in order to help and the mere fact that you are here to help and the staff are here to help, we are funding the budgets of the center to be sure that the center does what it requires to do. Learning from the past experience, we feel like we have a lot of challenges in the future that we are going or envisage that we will face. The main challenge will be the extremism and the Islamophobia. Those two extremes that were no doubt that our youth as similar to any other youth in the world, are exposed to many radical ideas. And our duty is to make sure that they are not affected by those. And I can say that so far we are doing well in this, and so far our youth are on the right track. So we have the challenge to keep that track right and to help those youth to stay on that and to face any radical opinion or any radical views that might be imported somehow to them so they can face it and they can, they have the uh, 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 ability to reject that kind 